Now we can go ahead and put in the camshafts and line it up. It's a little easier now to line up that timing mark right there, which is a little square. And then also on the other side, it just makes it easier right now. And put in the second camshaft with that timing mark facing up. And then also get our seals lined up here in their seats. Now with our camshafts in, we'll slide in our chain. Now we'll install the chain tensioner. It's easier if we get it on this first camshaft here and slide this under. Give the chain some free room and then we can slide in the second camshaft. Both of these timing marks need to be pointing straight up and then it'll also change whenever tension is placed on here. So they might be both in or out a little bit, it depends, but they both need to be pointing straight up. You can see this one, whenever it's in place, is moving over this way too much, so it needs to go just one tooth over. And we just gotta make sure we get this perfectly correct. In order to verify that these are straight up, they have marks on some of these camshaft holders and whenever you put them on, it helps you to make sure that they're straight up. So if we look at this one, it's straight in front of that arrow and same with the one on this side. Although for sometimes it's a little tricky to get these on. So I had to put a few other ones on back here to pull everything into place. Now these aren't fully tightened on here. I don't wanna just put these on. You wouldn't wanna do that. These are cast iron. They can snap pretty easily. So be careful whenever you're doing it but I just wanted to get these on enough, make sure everything is lined up correctly, which it is. So now we can start putting on all these holders. Now I'm going to pull these off and make sure we get that engine assembly lube in here because we don't want these to be running dry. You don't want it to grind. And we'll smear this around on here. Make sure all the surfaces are covered. When we're putting the camshafts on, it's important that it go on evenly. You don't want to start from one side, go to the Whenever other. Whenever we put these on here, we don't want to just start from one side and go all the way to the other. It's going to kind of build tension. And since this is cast iron, it could snap. So we want to kind of uh, even it out, Put start tightening it here, start tightening it here, here, and just bring it down. It's a good idea to keep all these organized whenever you take them off, put them like on a piece of cardboard so you can keep the order the same. If you do lose the order, each one of these are numbered. There's three, four, five, so you know where to put them, but it's a little bit easier if they're already in order. So when you're doing this, just make sure that you're watching which ends are moving. If you want, you can start from the inside, go to the outside. I think that's probably the best. It's gonna make sure it's even, but it's not just that, but it's also watching them. If you see one side is really not tight, then you wanna tighten that. Keep everything always tight and that'll slowly bring everything down. And that's how you keep the even pressure. When you're installing these cam caps, make sure you look at these, uh, they're uh, little seats. Make sure that they're not deformed because whenever you bolt them on, you can see here it was actually starting to deform the aluminum and it could crack them. These cam cap bolts are torqued to seven foot pounds which is equal to 84 inch pounds. And I'm going to torque them in the order that the manual says. I've seen people torque them from the inside to the outside. There's nothing wrong with that. We have them snugged down at this point, but I'm going to follow what the manual said and torque them starting from this side and moving over. Now this is ready to be put back on the car with everything torqued, everything timed. We have the valves lapped, they're seated, and we've resurfaced the head. So everything is done and it's ready to go back on the car.